Kim Hunter. Kim is here connecting with me from Dallas. Hi! So good to see you! Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be making this because it's all new for me. So tell me, what's the name of the cocktail we're making? Today we're gonna make Angel's Ginger and we're gonna use the Ananjo from the Grand Centenario Tequila. How did you get into tequila? I am from Texas and I just, I love Mexican food, I love Tex-Mex, and with that, you know, the spirit of Mexico is tequila. So I'm excited because I see you also have other Mexican ingredients. So chamomile, for example, one of like the most used teas in Mexico and we use it to calm and to soothe. Actually, Patty, you are spot on. So finding little ways to calm your nerves, it was the inspiration for this cocktail. So the very first step, since we are going to be using chamomile tea, we want to steep the tea, right? We're not gonna steep it in hot water. We're actually gonna steep it in the tequila. Why did you choose the Añejo? I just love it. It's so delicious. It's naturally sweet. So you don't have to add in, you know, any additional sweeteners. It just mixes very well. It's versatile. I just love it. So how much tequila am I adding? We're going to add two ounces of tequila and we're going to let it steep for just a few minutes. How did you get into this mixology world? Because I know you're a mom and you have two kids. I actually worked in human resources. So trying to get to happy hour with my friends, it just was almost impossible after work. So I decided, y'all come over here. We're going to have cocktails. We're going to have conversations. And then you took that on as a business? Yeah, so Potent Pours was born. I love the name. Potent Pours is so catchy. And it definitely rings true because the cocktails are potent. <laughs> Let's go. We were having a social event or a corporate event. Um, it's been over three years now, and it's been a great three years. That's amazing. We're gonna go ahead and add one ounce of orange liqueur, and then we're gonna add one ounce of the ginger liqueur. Which these I've never seen before. It's so delicious. And it smells incredible. Oh, yum, oh, yum, I've never tasted it. So this will become a staple in your bar. Oh my God. We're gonna add lemon. We're gonna take about two basil leaves. We're gonna simply give this basil a good smack. What will this smack do? It's gonna release some of those natural oils and aromatics that are in the basil. All right, so we're just gonna place the basil in the palm of our hands and give it a really good smack. And toss it in the shaker. Yeah, a little up and down, side to side. Okay, it's freezing right now. Ooh, so pretty. And now I assume the garnish is crucial for you too. So I'm gonna just tear off just a few leaves and then we are gonna place that on the cocktail. I have this beautiful edible flower and so I am going to place it. So I don't have an edible flower, but I do have the candy ginger. Perfect. Take a toothpick, and then you want to string the candy ginger on the toothpick. So we've got the angel's ginger. Let's cheer. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It is so good. I can taste the ginger with the orange and the subtle chamomile base, and I taste the oaky and the caramelly from the tequila. Let me taste the ginger. Yes, so now you've got your soaked ginger. Oh, mmm. This is the best part. Mm. I'm just gonna add a ton more. So it soaks. This is my dessert. It is, right? Thank you so much, Kim. What a treat. I had a great time. Cheers. <laughs>